What's up guys, it is Joe here, and today I am going to be starting a new series for the channel, bit of a test run, um, but we're going to be starting a new series in one of my favorite games that has uh, come out within the last year or so, and that's Pro Wrestling Simulator. If you don't know what this game is, basically you are able to be put in control of any promotion um, that is in the game or that is added from uh, downloading a database and going through and trying to get it to basically take it as far as you can. And so I figured to start the series, it's like database here, what better promotion to start with than Deadlock Pro Wrestling. So as you can see here, as of now, this is what uh, the roster looks like. It's our main event. Uh, people or peeps on the card Bojack, Andrew Everett, Luther, Kevin Koo, Rosemary. Then in the upper mid card, we got Calvin Tankman, Chance Riser, Ho Ho Loon, Lucky Ali, Ryu, Mizunami, Patrick Scott. And then in the mid card, we got Diego Hill, Alex Cologne, KZT, Josh Fuller. And then in the lower card, we got Kid Bandit, Mikey Banker, Rachel Rose. Bandit is not going to be staying in the lower card at all. I can tell you that now. And then for the announced enhancement talent, we got Hunter Knott, Angelica Riz, Cat Spencer, Donnie Ray. Rosario, Grillo, Chris Danger for the personalities, and of course our announcers are the Deadlock Boys themselves, Anthony Douglas, James Darnell, John Blood. So let's get this going. Let's put that there. Da -da 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 -da. Could have done this before I started, but I really wanted to give you guys kind of a rundown of how the game works. Basically, uh, it's different from how it started out uh, in the sense that it used to be, you know, it was just based off of the wrestler's skill. Um, now that's not so much the case. Uh, the most recent updates have really made it to where... Uh, why is it not booting up? Um, there we go. I think it's because I had a already had a um, different game going on, the same name. But basically, it used to be right the uh things based on the shows why is he the deadlock oh no that's saying he's with gc De okay 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 i gotcha i gotcha gotcha basically the way the show details would be decided is back when the game first launched was all based under the wrestler skill so like basically you know wrestling skill would really be the biggest way to determine how good the matches would be um if they were good in entertainment and if their psychology was better that would add to it as well um, but since the developer of the game has added a few things that really help with it, uh, worker morale really takes a major presence. So like you can go through ad catering, uh, travel expenses, medical expenses to help that will help with morale. But as of now, we're sitting at a nice cool 100, so we don't really need to worry about that too much. Um, I don't think as of now, merchandising has any role in it, uh, but also there's the promise feature. So basically it'll be like, you know, there are going to be times where, you know, Bojack may ask to work with Diego Hill. Um, or he will go through and ask, you know, where he wants to be booked in a match that's about, you know, 15 minutes. Or he wants to work in the main and stuff like that. Oh, whoop, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> and so that will also, you know, that, that mainly helps with morale, though. Uh, but also the big thing though is production so this not only affects segment scores but also will really end up helping the show as of now though uh, we only have 70,000 to work with so in terms of production we really can't do much um, luckily though until you start getting up to about the middle ones you won't be paying too much per show uh, but really you also don't want to end up going all out just for the sake of getting like two or three good shows out of it um, Especially when, with DPW, as of now, we only have one pay-per-view. Um, so, as of, we need to change that now. So, <laughs> uh, j -j 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 I can't remember. Um, God, what were the other DPW pay-per-views? There's Believe the Hype, Showdown in the Carolinas. Was DPW Forever for one of them? I want to say DPW Forever was actually the one that uh followed uh here you know here you know what we're gonna do we're actually gonna pull up 
the uh, DPW uh, fandom page. It's cheap, I know, but it doesn't really matter. It'll be fine. All right, so... No, not that. Damn it. What are they? I'll have to edit this part out. <laughs> when I learn how to, you know, edit. Deadlock Pro Wrestling events oh my lord oh cage cage side seats is that what i need to be looking at events is this it okay yeah it is so we need to go through and add the events just because we are not going to be able to survive uh, off of just one pay-per-view. It, it's, it's just not going to happen. There's, there's no way um, that it's going to be able to happen, but that's okay because that is what these are for. Put that on the third Saturday. Okay, not going to bother with the logo pay Ooh. okay so that's another thing with this so the way the paid and free online streaming is it depends on if you have a streaming network yet and i don't know if we have one so we're going to go through and for north america asia and europe put it on pay-per-view and the others we're going to put it on purchase purchase purchaseable video jesus me because those countries, the ones that I set for a purchasable video, typically don't pull in um, the numbers you would like to see. And I want to try to get it to where uh, we can make money quick. Because there are a few people who, while they're not going to be contracted, um, they are going to cost quite a bit to have them... Still will just be on a pay per appearance deal. And I would rather not bankrupt us trying to just book talent. Um, so that is why. Oh, I forgot to do this. Okay. Annual. And this needs to happen in May. Third Saturday. I'm looking at the events that these take place or are going to take place. Try to get a uh, specific. Uh, rundown just to be able to tell and keep things uh, close together because while it probably would be better to go through and just simply have it be where oh you know have an event be every other month we're gonna keep this one on huge importance make that one a bit more meaningful um, we also, like I said, the, the, the money. <laughs> money and growth is the two biggest things. Um, purchasable video. Damn it. What was the last one we just put on? Was it May? So this one needs to be June 3rd, Saturday. These events always happen on a Saturday. Saturday is a good day for wrestling. Okay, now the next one after this is Believe the Hype. Which is set for next month in August. Believe the height. Now we go through, put that in hour 30. That can stay at high. And now we can go through, set this distribution, pay per view. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, nope, not none. Purchasable video. Purchase no, you need to be a pay per view. Nope pay-per-view purchasable video and this is an annual event occurs in august on the first saturday because it happens august if you can hear that that's just my dog spinning around like an idiot <laughs> he's just vibing uh now we can go through 
and start looking oh nope announcing doesn't need to be messed with we can keep that where it is announcing is pretty it's pretty okay so we need to go through and add the titles dpw world tag team championship i'm gonna have to bring in some people for this just because as of now we only have two tag teams uh put that we're gonna challenge ourselves we're gonna keep it low uh as of now we'll keep this man only if we get if i'm able to expand the roster quick enough i'll take that off uh and now this was just crowned dpw national championship oh i cannot spell that will be my downfall okay and that is a singles title defendable yes okay so that's good to know how to do with that and then only okay um at a later point in time i will take the time to go through and add the pictures for these all i have to do is go through and download them so as of now uh so these are our tag teams we've got josh fuller mikey banker the delinquents tsf hunter not and rosario grillo and the reality and chance riser and patrick scott and they also will have uh chris danker come out with them so that'll be good um so as of now just gonna go ahead and sim a day and the reason why we're just simming a day instead of the first show is because this will allow the other promotions to really start getting into the nitty-gritty of what they have to do um, so, like, as you see here, NXT makes contract offer new, uh, contract renewal offer for William Regal. It's the opposite of what happened in real life, especially with him and Joe, sadly, and Timothy Thatcher. Jesus. AJ Lee. Like, Punk's AJ Lee? Oh, okay. Mikey Banker's been offered a contract. Oh, so that's another thing with this. So, I will have to pay attention to this the more popular people get. Um, typically, with most promotions, like Ring of Honor, PWG, uh, New Japan of America, or even New Japan, most of those guys are going to be on pay-per-appearance deals, so they'll still be able to work. Um, but however, we have our friends over in WWE and AEW, where most of the deals they offer are not going to be pay-per-appearance. They are actually uh, going to kind of be... Um, they're going to be... Uh, written contracts, which basically means they cannot work for anywhere else. So, before we can really even start looking at other workers we need to bring in for, we need to get some refs. Because we currently don't have any. <laughs> so, da -da 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 worker type, referee, fly filter. Okay, da -da -da -da. Allison Lay, we can go through, offer her, referee, travel expenses, da 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 da. Uh, Pay per appearance. Keep that at 150. Okay, contract offer was accepted. And then, ju -ju 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 -ju, what's Bryce Rosenberg? 75. Uh, what's Brian Hebner? 75. But Brian is also 42 years old. Uh, what's he? NWA? Yeah, let's go through and offer. The less stuff they're working for right now, the easier it will be to keep them around for a lot longer. Okay, so those deals are accepted. So now. We can go through and do a few things. As of now, we only have 23 people on the roster, right? So we got, obviously, you know, already li 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 listed them off earlier. Jesus. But as of now, one thing that's really lacking is the women's division. Because as of now, we only have Angelica Risk, uh, Kat Spencer, KZT, uh, Rachel Rose, Rosemary, and Rizu Mizunami. Uh, but, however, Kid Bandit, they can also uh, work with the women, with them being a non-binary wrestler. Um, but I'm not going to lie. Bandit's probably getting pushed to the moon. <laughs> Bandit's probably getting pushed to the moon, but it can't be immediate because as you see here, the wrestling skill is only at 40, entertainment 60, stamina is only at 40, but these will improve the more you book them. So the skills will get better the more that you book them. And on top of that, as you see here, they got different traits about them. Right, so Kid Bandit is considered sociable among others, driven by thrill-seeking. And there's also one with other people, like Calvin Tegmi is known for their toughness. But there is one that I will actually go in and show all the other ones. Just going to select a kid here, and we're going to go through and look at the personal and traits and all this stuff. So this is what really depicts them as a worker. So you have stuff like the personality, their politics. Basically, this, stuff like this will just depend on how easy they are to work with with other people um and it will basically decide you know if there will be any backstage incidents but like a kid you know they're respectful they're they'll take big bumps they're a quick learner 
which means they gain skills at a fast rate. The more people we can get to learn this skill or this trait, the better. But also some of them do have, you know, some bad trade-offs, you know, like, uh, da -da 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 -da. where was it? I was actually just over the maximum effort. So the maximum effort trait, they work better matches, but they will have a higher chance of being exhausted quicker and injury, uh, more injury prone. And um, on top of this, you know, you have some guys who, you know, I'm sure if I go through and find Mox or Nick Gage, they will have the Deathmatch Wrestler uh, trait, which will, they'll perform better in Deathmatch Wrestling, but I do believe a trade-off is they perform worse in non-matches like this. So also like this here, we have networks. I haven't found a database that includes any of those yet because that was recently just added in an update. Um, so now, uh, now that we've gone through all of that, we're going to start filling out the roster, but that is going to have to wait on the next episode, excuse me, on the next episode, and I will catch you guys next time.